Hi everyone, and thanks for watching Eat Color with Claudia. Today we are making corn fritters. If you're not familiar, I'm so glad you're watching because they're delicious. There's just a few tricks, so keep on watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We're starting with the main ingredient, fresh ears of corn. And it doesn't matter if the corn is like yellow or white. Corn, it doesn't matter, it's all gonna taste delicious. You can even use like canned corn or frozen corn, but I tell you what, when you use fresh, it's always a little better. We've removed all the husks and the silk from the corn. Now we're cutting all the kernels off the cob, and I find using this bread knife works so well. This bun pan, oh my gosh, this is fabulous. Because as we cut, you see all the kernels are landing in this bowl instead of all over the floor. Now we need to make the batter. But since this comes together so quickly, I like to get my pan ready first. A cast iron skillet or a heavy bottom pan works really good when making fritters. We need to get the pan you know, pre-warmed up. So I'm gonna put it on the stove top and get it warm. We'll start with the dry ingredients in like a medium-sized bowl. And we'll start with a half a cup of flour, a quarter cup of cornmeal, one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt. Stir up your dry ingredients and then kind of scoot, scoot them off to the side of the bowl. And now we'll slide in our wet ingredients. Three eggs, a half a cup buttermilk, and stir. Now it's important not to over mix the batter but we still gotta add a few more things. Now I love adding Parmesan cheese because it just kinda helps get the critters a little bit more crispy. So we got a quarter cup. And now this is the part where some people like to add jalapenos, cilantro, maybe some green onions, but you guys, I'm Italian. So we're adding parsley, two tablespoons of parsley. And now we'll just gently mix this up one more time. And now put all the corn in. And we'll stir, stir it all up. Now it's important that your batter be thick. Our pan's hot. I'm gonna add some sunflower oil or you can do avocado oil. And now we just need about an eighth of an inch of oil on the bottom of the pan because we're not deep frying these, we're just pan frying them. It's important that the oil stays about 350 degrees and using a digital thermometer works really nicely. So using an ice cream scooper, reach in and get about a spoonful like this and place it right on your pan. We don't want to overcrowd them. So four in this size pan is plenty. So once we get them all on there, then we take a, a spatula and just kind of pat them down a little bit because we want them more flat. Let them cook in here three to four minutes on each side. Sometimes my fritters, they cook on the inside better than the outside, so I just kind of rotate them halfway through. They're looking nice. I think it's time to flip. Now you want to do it really super carefully because as the oil could splatter, and I just kind of flip it. Oh, look at that, crispy. Just take each one and carefully turn it over. There we go. We're now, we're gonna wait another three to four minutes before we take these guys out. This batch here is done. Now, a lot of times you could put them on a paper towel so they can drain, or you could put them on a cooling rack which I'm doing because I like them to have just that, keep that crisp. And then I've got my oven down here set at about 180 degrees to keep it warm. Now this batch here, I mean, this recipe, I think it's gonna make about 16 fritters, maybe 20. But you know what? If you make more fritters than you can eat, that's perfectly fine because they freeze so well. It's amazing. So just do this at one time and I promise you, you're gonna, you can probably, Eat quite a few of them. 
So I'm gonna keep on making fritters. And now while they're still warm, we gotta put a little salt on the top. Final step. And the best part about corn fritters is eating them. So eat corn fritters for a snack, an appetizer, lunch, or dinner, side dish. This right here is sour cream and chives on top. You can pile them up in stacks. You can have this for breakfast and put some maple syrup on top. You can serve it with some pink sauce or some marinara sauce. This one here is with a yogurt dip and some green onions on top. Or Obviously, you could just have a plain. However you like to eat it, I promise you, you're gonna get hooked. There's nothing more delicious than corn fitters. Until next week, bon appetit. Mmm, mmm. Oh, look at that in there. The inside, you can taste all that sweet, beautiful corn, soft, and on the outside, it's like crunchy delicious.